I used to love using Flipgrid in my classroom and now it is no more, unfortunately. So Elaine and I were talking about some different tools that could work in its place. And I've been playing around a little bit with Screencastify Submit. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like on my end. So if you wanna play around with it, you can do the same. So first I'm just going to log into my Screencastify account. And so this is the Screencastify button up here. I have it as one of my like tools on my bar because I use it so often, but if not, you might have to just go looking for it by pressing the puzzle piece right here. And then if you want to pin it, then you can just press the little pin button. So I'm going to log into my account. It'll take just a moment. And then over here, you can see there's a submit button. So under your account at the very bottom, it says submit, and then you can make an assignment on here. So you're going to press new assignment. You can title it whatever you want. I've been having my kids read aloud a story on there, and then I can go back and listen to it and see how they're doing. And they really like it because then they feel like YouTubers. So they love it, and they've been having a lot of fun with it. You also could have it record their screen if you want to. So far though, I've just been doing webcam recording only, and then you generate the link. I like to have that anyone with the link can access, and that students can view their own video videos because I do like to have them watch it back and listen to themselves read and then I make it ungraded. So I just exit out of that. Then I press the create and share button and then it's gonna automatically copy that link but you can also press it again to copy it. And now you can put that into your Google Classroom. So on Google Classroom when you go to create an assignment under classwork then you can just paste it as a link. So I'm gonna press create assignment and then I'm gonna press this link button right here at the bottom and add that link in so then the kids will be able to press that button and they can go on to screencast if I submit I will say for lower elementary it was a little bit clunky the first time that I used it it took me a while <laughs> to get all of the kids on they needed a lot of help getting on with older kids I think they would be just fine as long as they can read the directions but some of my kids were very confused by the directions and it was popping up to have them allow the microphone so it was a little bit clunky so just give your a little bit of time to play around with it or I would recommend maybe teaching like five students how to do it first and then those five students can run around and be your helpers when you have the rest of the class get on and um, I would also recommend to in the settings like so the settings are right up here you want to make sure that it has which right now it's not gonna pop up but there's one that will say microphone you want to make sure that it's toggled over to allow but then also if you're able to press the button for always allow so then that way you don't have to go over the kids don't have to um, press like the allow button every single time they go on the website they can just do it that one time and then it will always allow it in the future so it's a really fun tool the kids love recording themselves and it's a great way to be able to listen to the kids after because you can't get to everybody all at once so fun tool to play around with definitely recommend playing with it